Hello, um, this uh, next game of ours will be for quite some time uh, shrouded in a lot of secrets because there is a lot of spoiler territory we want to avoid. But um, it's a story-based game, so we are going to, for uh, once again, for a very strong story. But this time, this story won't be on a different planet. It will be on Earth. It will be actually from the region quite, quite close we both live. And uh, this uh, game will be also quite scary. You can maybe uh, go a bit into Silent Hill 2 territory, but uh, without fighting the monsters. So basically more f in terms of a psychological horror. And the basic question we ask in this game is what would you do? if your daughter never came back from home. We have a region this game is kind of located into and I would like to, after just the two sentences, give word to Lukáš here because he's kind of responsible for this topography of this place. You can explore this place but it's not kind of totally open world because still the story and this kind of story progression even if it's not entirely linear it uh, prevails over this kind of um, just you know endless exploration because it, it's not kind of uh, wanted in the context of the very tight story. But uh, let Lukáš Tell us anything, uh, something about the world itself, because I think it's pretty interesting. Yeah, the the environment is set in the like in the Bohemia, which is a part of the of the Czech Republic. Uh, we both very uh, know uh, good, so so we can uh, get the inspiration from it, and uh, it will be mostly in the kind of forest environment. There will be a uh, um, sure the feel of the open environment and uh, there will be many possibilities to go uh, but uh, some things will be locked uh, till the story reveals it or, or open the way and also the environment will be changing through the story so you can uh, visit uh, for example the same, same place twice and uh, it will be never never same okay so there will be some uh, also visual and uh, um, like evolution of the of the same places, so it will be kind of open world game, but uh, but uh, in the like mean of time, time progression and story progression. I would like to add, it will be basically to be totally clear, it's a mixture of Moravian landscape, but the rocks you can see they are kind of brought in from uh, from uh, northern Bohemia, from uh, Czech Switzerland, and this kind of environments, those huge sandstone. Uh, and uh, other this kind of rocks which are visible. And another thing which I really like how Luke made it uh, is that the, the terrain there is pretty much uh, vertical as well because you really climb the hills and you have the feeling that you are here, which is absolutely necessary also for the mentioned transitions which will be in the game and there will be kind of story based. Well, there, there will be. Uh, the the scenes which are happening in the day and uh, in the night, but uh, uh, some will be story driven, some won't, and uh, it will be kind of the mix of of both styles. Yeah, we are using something I call phased cycles, which means that uh, you have a sense of a natural transition from day to night or from night to day, but they are not entirely kind of clocked, you know, it's based more on what you do in the game. So this phasing is, uh, it's, it's our approach how to not make it like cut and it's night, cut and it's day, but we have uh, places when really you, ha you can feel the sunset or sundown in the game, but it's not like uh, based upon the in-game clock, it's based upon your actions in the game. That's why it's phased, not kind of real time. This game is for us uh, a big 
leap of faith actually because uh, with Julia Among the Stars we were working with Engine I work from 2002 so I really kind of even overtake the engine in the middle and was was kind of uh, uh, able to extend it and of course it has its pl plus it has its minus but uh, we absolutely knew what we are doing and with this game we it's our first game on Unreal because before we tackled with Unity but never with Unreal so uh, one prevailing thought is uh, for us to really tackle all the technical issues but on the other hand the experience from uh, Julia among the stars is for us uh, absolutely invaluable in the way of how the things should be so I'm not kind of uh, uh, thinking that we will be kind of fix some of the issues I think about this game more as of an evolution of what was what we were capable of doing with Julia Among the Stars and we are kind of building on the experience trying to put away the bad things which I will be talking about tomorrow but uh, we don't I don't think it's kind of radical something that I say okay this was stupid I'm going to do games totally differently now it's more like thinking about what works and pushing in the direction and thinking what doesn't and just you know don't do it <laughs>
and with this game we more targeted on consoles so we use a lot of visual effects and stuff so and basically i don't i'm not s kind of convinced of the mobile market at in general so we plan to do uh, for this new game we plan to do windows we plan to do um consoles if it works out so ps4 xbox one but no we don't plan to tackle mobiles anymore I was thinking about uh, 2100, but uh, realistically it's something like 2017. The end, of the end of 2017 at this point, because it's quite a big game and it's definitely it's larger than Julia. 